We've got the excellence of Switzerland today on Walking the Candy Isle. Hey guys, Jeff here with a quick review of the Swiss Delice milk chocolate. Uh, now I know it's just a straight milk chocolate, but you know, I, I always, anything that has Switzerland and chocolate together is something that I'm interested in. This is just a teeny tiny little, little fun size. Little, I, I don't know, this is like something you'd get on your pillow at a hotel probably. But uh, Swiss Delice, the company right here, um, haven't been around for too long, since 1998. I'm sure they came from other other places. It's interesting though, they're not known as a uh, chocolate chocolate company really, or um, chocolate or candy, made in Switzerland of course. They don't make candy, they, they do make some chocolates. 32% cocoa, good, good. Swiss chocolate, love it. Contains milk, hazelnuts, nice. Soy, may contain other tree nuts. So. Swiss Delius, mm, 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 milk chocolate. Yeah, uh, 1998, they're known mainly as a, a dairy company. Um, they started out making yogurts primarily, I think. So they have a, they have a yogurt factory uh, out on Lake, Lake Neuchâtel. Um, then they have a, there, there's sort of three branches of their products that they make, yogurts out at Neuchâtel. Then they do biscuits in, um, M Milan, which is some, I think is the name of the city. It's near near Zurich somewhere, and then they have um, also a cheesery in Ursay. A che cheesery is that we call it a cheese a, a cheese cellar or something? <laughs> I don't know cheese factory, but it's dairy, right? And then of course biscuits. Biscuits are the side, and actually probably I would guess that if anything that the chocolate comes from the biscuits, right? The biscuit side of the company, um, because of course you're gonna make biscuits with chocolate on them if you're in Switzerland or Germany or France, right? So, so they do make chocolate and any chocolate from Switzerland is worth investigating. That's, that's my take on it, right? Let's, uh, I didn't, I went on their website. I didn't even see chocolate listed as like a product that you could just buy, but I'm sure it is, right? I think you can get these in big bars at, uh, at the, you know, the grocery store or wherever, wherever you buy your big bar chocolate. Mm. It's a little, uh, <laughs> I don't know how long it's been sitting in this, uh, in here. Hopefully it's not, hasn't gone, gone bad. Probably hasn't. Right. Okay, let's, let's just have a look at this. Um, chocolate, chocolate, a little, a little messed up. I, you know what? I'm going to forgive it if it tastes good. Let's, uh, let's get into it. Give, give her, give her a whirl. Mmm. Oh, it's a little brittle. Mm. Oh no. I waited too long. Oh. <sighs> Snappity crackety. Well, I can taste the creaminess. But, um,. I think this chocolate has been sitting out a little, too, a little bit long. For like, what I I would suggest is a high quality European chocolate. I have no idea how long this has been sitting there. I have sort of a cupboard of where I keep some stuff that I'm going to review, and this tiny little thing was sitting in there. I don't know for how long, because it's just tiny, and I must have missed it. So. Um, I don't know. Is it fair to give it a score? It tastes a little off, I gotta say. Um, so, why don't we just chalk this one up as a review attempt? Um, and I'm excited about it, but uh, I don't think it's really fair to give this a score because right now it doesn't taste fantastic. And I expect that this is, I, I'm, I'm really hopeful that this is actually a pretty fantastic product. <sighs> Poor, poor, wasted Swiss chocolate. What are you going to do, guys? What are you going to do? At least I didn't lose, a, like, a big bar. Maybe I'll go to the store and try and find a big bar of this so I can uh, I can do a real, a, another real review of this. Um, for right now, this is, uh, this is no good. Oh, well. Unfortunate. It was an attempt, but uh, not quite today. <sighs> Next time, guys. Next time. 
Okay, uh, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what your favorite chocolate that you lost <laughs> was. <laughs> have you ever had a chocolate bar that got destroyed? I have had a number of reviews that I've tried to do that, that just didn't work out. I remember one time I was, when I, the first time I tried to review Butterfinger, uh, I opened the package and literally, I don't know what happened to it, it exploded into a million pieces. <laughs> oh. mm. Poor, poor, lost candy and chocolate. Anyway, um, oh well, that's, that's all I got to say today, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Better, better luck then, huh? Bye.